what's going on everybody dj go ham here welcome back to the channel it's farm sim news baby hashtag farm sim news at 4k today we have 32 pc mods in testing we've got 22 console mods in testing with all those seven mods were released today we've got more information on sandy bay we get the first look at the valley of the old farm we got new picks from mj modding's gatehead farm 4d modding released their new smith trailer plus we've got pre-release information on custom modding's 8rt let's check it out in testing for pc we have the agrimet n219 and a burger htd pack aw700 cutter trailer Kloss mega pack cotton storage sheds zz equipment pack the dude's Swathmaster 3521, Phil Level Warning, Gillignani 9250 SL, The Update for Growers Farm, Hollingsfeld, ITS Drive Laner Big Cedar, Coon GA 9531, Lizard P170S, The Newer Spatter Pack Small, Mashio Gasparto Primo, McCormick MC 115, Pellworm 2K19, Sandomirsky Olis, Caesars Geo Italy Rice, Caesars Geo South Poland, SIP Orion 120th, Storage Tunnel Easy Shed, TF140PB95 MM Millennial Farmer Map Finally in testing Tina's Mowers Trailer Attacher Support Vaderstad Rapid Wildly Zazlo D76421 ZDT NS11V And the ZDT PV15 In testing for console We have the Cueco Radium 45 Lizard Aramex Potato Heap Adapter Amazon D9300 CSZ Equipment Pack DMI Metalworks Double Pallet Fork, Fork Lizard Spino with Claws, Jen's HE561 STA Pack, Joskin Betamix RDS 7500, Coeco Pullbox 8000H, Coon GA4521, Lely P300 Silage Harvester, Lizard 32 Disc Harrow, Lizard Worked Hat, Metal Shed, New Holland CR690, New Holland Very Feed Pack, FS19 Pigsty, Placeable Liquid Fertilizer, Sugar Beet Heap, and the T-Rex Shuttle, which was released today. With all that being said, we still have one 144 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is down to five workdays. In addition to the mods and testing, seven were released today. New for all platforms include the Flegal SDS 350J and the T-Rex Shuttle. Updates for all platforms include Alsonsa Gagri Farm and Westbridge Hills. New for PC and Mac only include the Maze Plus and the Maze Plus CCM extension. And your only update today for PC and Mac was Ellerbach. I've already made a video showing these off, which you can find linked in the first pinned comment below. Oxygen David released new information on his next map, Sandy Bay 19. New animals will include calf husbandry thanks to Farmer Andy, the creator of Hoff Birdman. You can feed the calves milk and straw and they will produce manure. In seasons, they'll grow into adults and you'll be able to sell them at a better price than you would have. At this point, they look to be console friendly as well, which is great news. New textures have also been added, so everything more matches real life better on this map. There will also be tractors, scooters, and milk trucks in the traffic. Traffic's also been altered to not only go faster, but also detect problems to ensure less issues when driving down the road. There are now four farms with three cow pastures, two sheep pastures, one horse, one chicken, and one pig enclosure. Also, another village has been added with an extra cell point. Now there's over eight cell points on the map. I know you guys like lots of cell points. As well as teased last week, there is a drivable fighter plane, just like the boat on Shamrock Valley. Oxy does mention that it might not make it into the final version, as there are some issues. The map is almost finished and will be sent to Giants soon. Black Sheep Modding have added a new video of the Valley of the Old Farm for FS19, a preview of their new map. It is a fictional European style map with close to 100 fields, two farms, one for cows, chicken, and sheep, another for pigs. It is unknown if there will be a horse farm on the map or not. The map also features multiple cell points and multiple forestry locations to carve out your own fields or make your own farm. The map is still being worked on, but mostly finished. The Vow of the Old Farm for Farming Simulator 19 will be out for all platforms once it passes testing. MJ Modding has released six new screenshots from Gatehead Farm, including some shots from the coastal area at different times of the day to showcase the lighting engine on the map. There's also a flying balloon in the background with lots of waterway traffic. MJ Modding has lots of pictures from Gatehead Farm on his Facebook page, which I will have linked below. 4D Modding have released their Smith Twin Axle Super Cube trailer with multiple different options, including drain and silage variants, grain door discharge option, optional body colors, optional extension colors, optional rim colors, wheels, registration, 
RT Power Break, and a Toolbox. I'll make sure to have a link to this mod in the description below if you want to go download it. This mod is for PC only right now. And lastly today, Custom Modding have some pre-release information for their new John Deere 8RT mod. Price is going to be anywhere from $389,000 up to $435,100. Power is going to be 341 horsepower all the way up to 396 horsepower. It will be compatible with the John Deere H480 front loader as well as the Demco SideQuest tanks. Engine configurations will be an 8320, 8345, and 8370 with five different track options from a 16-inch, 18-inch, 24-inch, 25, and 30-inch track options. Four track spacing configurations will be an 80 inch, 92, 104, and 120 inch spacing with European and US versions available. Other options include a front weight configuration, one and two beacon configurations, warning signs, a rock box option for the front, openable door and rear hitch with three point fast coupling, which is awesome. Custom modding are trying to send them onto Giants, but they're having issues with their 7R right now but they said they are confident that everything will work out. Just like every Farm Sim News, everything that we talked about today will be linked in the description below, including links to today's Let's Play, new mod video, the testing list, and other helpful links as well. Don't forget, live streams will be resuming here on the channel starting on Sunday, February the 9th, and will include some of your favorite YouTubers on the first stream, including Mr. Silly P, Virtual Farmer, Clutch Simulations, FS Club, and simulation for the nation. That stream's gonna be at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the States or 8 p.m. in the UK. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun and I hope you guys are able to join us. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Go Ham Fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a video or farm sim news here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.